dong, ding dong. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving. Wait, I shouldn't have done the bells in Thanksgiving. That was the wrong holiday. <laughs> I like the bells of Thanksgiving. Oh, well, we got to do something <laughs> for Thanksgiving, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, turkey gobble <laughs> chorus. <laughs> <laughs> A turkey cobble is perfect. And if anyone's going to do it, it's Stephanie. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to nail the turkey gobble I think it should bells. be in harmony. Yeah. Okay. You know. Do it again. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> we watched a little too many um, uh, rubber chicken videos today, but we'll get to that. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> no fair guessing <laughs> there's a lot of them there's a lot of rubber chicken videos out there it's weird that doesn't surprise me mm. it's you know there's a lot of everything on the internet that's true <laughs> it just disturbs me that I'm not making lots of money being a YouTube creator for a rubber chicken thing it's really a tremendous skill It it is it looks really hard yeah. To, wait, to be a rubber chicken or a, a rubber chickenist? Oh, <laughs> it would be pretty hard to be a rubber chicken too. It would probably be hard to be a rubber chicken as well. Yeah, yeah probably. <laughs> but harder to be a rubber chickenist. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, a horrible. Would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would you rather have to learn to play the rubber chicken, or or would you rather be the rubber chicken? Oh. <laughs> Is there option C? <laughs> uh, nope. <laughs> uh, pass. But option C might be a turkey on Thanksgiving, <laughs> which is just the worst way to be. Yeah, but then I might get pardoned by a president, and then I'll be okay for a little while. Is that a thing that's happening? I don't know. The turkeys are getting pardoned? I don't know if it's happening it's this year. It's supposed to happen. But oh. it happens every year. Yeah. Yeah. The, that the turkeys get pardoned? Well, just a one. turkey. A turkey. <laughs> yeah. They have a lottery. Oh, I suddenly feel all really bad for the rest of the turkeys. <laughs> Especially the ones that are living on the same farm. I know, it's not fair. Yeah, no, it's, it's not It's really fair. not to ha make the other ones watch. Yeah, they should just kill them all. <laughs> it's more fair that way. Don't worry, we'll get around to it. Capitalism <laughs> will have its day. Uh, <laughs> the system works. <laughs> Um, <laughs> happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Welcome. Thanksgiving. Welcome Big to Crimes Against Folk. Um, it's quite the intro there. <laughs> I am Edward Williams. <laughs> I'm Ashley Norton. I'm Stephanie Groot. The gang's all here. Woo! Hey, hey. Finally. Yeah, seriously. Um, we are still coming to you from our respective places in Arizona and California, but we decided to film kind of a, or film, mostly film, a uh, special thanksgiving day special um yep. that will share some extra stories uh from the road and play a couple songs and have a bit of fun that sort of thing yep <clears throat> um i'm thankful for you guys oh thankful for you guys too Aww. this is good water Thank you. Yeah, you're, you're welcome. I'm questioning All right, why I'm we thankful for you guys. Didn't pour the wine and the whiskey for this episode. This is Thanksgiving after all, but we probably should have, yeah. Okay. We can still do that, you know. We can do that. True. We can take turns going to anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um speaking of rubber chickens. <laughs> We do we doing that? We're ripping the band-aid off on that is one. Is that is that a segue? I think this is a fantastic that sounds segue. Like a segue to me. I think the whole thing has been just lending itself to this story. It's appropriate. We didn't even have to try. It we'll just go happened. For it. Well, do we even still have the rubber chicken? No, no. It it died a very sad death. Yeah. Oh, I, I remember know. that. Well, the good news is that I probably have a bunch more, right? Oh, great. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> So yeah, that was when we my very first tour with you guys. Yeah, and uh, I thought it imperative to have a rubber chicken on the dash. It seemed appropriate. Well, I mean, I never went anywhere without one before. Right. It was it was a mascot of mine, and I didn't know you had other dash buddies that it could get along. You didn't with. know that at the time. I don't think so. So Stephanie is talking about our dashboard friends. Yeah, describe this photo for us if you can. If not, I can do it. Stephanie's. I don't think I know the photo. Do okay, this so one. Yeah. There's oh, a there photo. we go. A dog butt. A dog butt <laughs> yep. with some sriracha. Uh, uh, there's some robot thing. That's servo. That's top servo. 
Tom Servo? Yeah, from MST 3000. Okay. Mystery Science Theater. Oh, right. Yep. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. You know what? From It's very far away from me, and it looks like a, a, a miniature bubblegum machine with feet. That's exactly what Tom Servo was. It was a, He was a gumball machine that Joel turned into a robot, basically. Robot puppet. Okay. <laughs> and you know, I've seen that show and I don't know why I didn't know that. And then th- this, th- I-, I love the back of this chicken. <laughs> you <need> too. <laughs> it, he's kind of like a thug chicken. Yeah. With some, uh, he's got some like swim trunks on. <laughs> and like, I don't remember this about the chicken, but he kind of has some like Elvis hair that looks like it's actually kind of floppy. And he's clearly got some bling on if you could see his chest, but you can't. <laughs> you can so, kind of see it on the back of his neck there. but. So I think I, I was attracted to this chicken uh, because, A, it was one of the only ones I could find to buy. <laughs> and that was a big factor. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, And now I think they're probably making tons of them. It has a mom tattoo also, doesn't it? it I think it does have a mom tattoo. Oh, yeah. You can't I, see it in the photo, but I think it's on the side. I thought we kind of needed a thug on our trip. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, like a street tough, it was like a protector. Of the he's car. the muscle. Yeah, he's the muscle. Yeah. So I ordered this chicken, which at the time, you couldn't really get a rubber chicken online. That's so crazy. God, this must have been three, four years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My, how things have changed. And and I believe I ordered it from Target. <laughs> and and uh, they sent it to me. And then after I opened it up, I got an email from them saying that my order got lost somewhere. And they were very sorry, but they were going to be sending my order out again. So they, they kept sending me these rubber chickens. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you get? I got, I ended up with three. <laughs> and I didn't know what to do. <laughs> do we return them? Do we each get one? I was going to say, that kind of seemed like the appropriate thing, but I never got an additional rubber chicken. Right. So. Yeah. Well, I think I think some people stole them oh, off makes my sense. doorstep. <laughs> <laughs> They were such a hot commodity back then. Probably some of these people that were wanting to break into a career playing the rubber chicken. You should get a percentage of those YouTube creators. You should have heard this amazing rendition of what ACDC song was that at this point? I mean, it was brilliant. You have to know just where to squeeze, how hard to squeeze. Yeah. I mean, this is complicated business. Yeah, it's And at the like time, it. this thug chicken that Target kept sending to me was like the only thing on the market. <laughs> it's like working with a Walmart guitar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, I mean, it worked out. I don't know. I, I think I did have two more on my doorstep when I, by the time I got done with this trip. Well, and he became a great tour mascot for us until he literally crumbled into pieces. Oh, yep. That's what happened to my first rubber chicken, Orville. Yeah. Did we give this one a name? We must have. Chad. It was Chad. Chad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's oh. right. I forgot about that. Well, we named him Chad for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, because we had a, our friend named Chad who is an amazing drummer and singer-songwriter out of Phoenix, Arizona. And he played maybe three shows with us. Yeah. And we got really excited, and and we, like, officially put him in the band and had him in our band chat. And then he died. Yeah. He died really tragically, suddenly. I mean, it was such a huge loss for the music community in Phoenix, Mm-hmm. But so we, when we were looking for a name for the rubber chicken, it was like Chad's Chad. appropriate. Yeah. Because yeah. we're like, we he can take Chad that. with us. Yeah. <laughs> he he would have loved that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that we named him Chad. But I think he, he came with us. I think he came with us to London. I think I like, didn't we pack a couple of these mascots, Ed, and bring them to London? I and don't that, remember. Possibly. I don't know. We definitely did. 
Yeah. yeah. And I think he stayed in London. I think that's that was his that's demise. That's what it was. Yeah. Oh. We left him in London. Because he had, like, his, like, the he was basically broken in half. Yeah, speaker went out. He's broken in half. And yeah. yeah, I don't know. It happens. Yeah, he's a Touring's rubber chicken. rough. <laughs> yeah, that'll be us. It's good advice, years. folks. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, the metaphor. I'm like pretty sure I'm broken in half, and my squeaker is broken. So <laughs> put lotion on. <laughs> but there's a great video we have of this. So oh, Stephanie God. was telling us this exact story that she was just telling us now about all the rubber chickens arriving at her doorstep, and as we were. On this beautiful drive to Bolinas, we had our bass player Patrick with us um, in, in the, at the time in the car, and Stephanie's telling the story, and we're on this. And it's like really windy. You could see the ocean, and I happened to catch this little story on film, and it just uh, it makes no me idea. smile every time. She had no idea we were filming it, but so I, I threw like it up on Muppet YouTube. That's always. Still talking when everyone else stops. Oh, uh, Janice. Janice. Yep. Yeah. I just like, I felt like I was just saying this random thing and it ended up kind of being chronicled for posterity. Yeah. <laughs> and, and reshared with you now. <laughs> Let's take a look. So, for whatever reason, like, I get this email. This is where I got this chicken, and they were like, sorry, your order has been delayed. And I'm like, what order? And I couldn't figure out what it meant. I think that it sent me another rubber chicken. Or maybe a, a box of them. I know. I was like, this, like I'm like maybe getting like a rubber chicken from Todd the rest of my life. <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. <laughs> like, that was the other thing. you have to start giving them away. I was like, do you think there's a rubber chicken sitting outside? She's like, what? <laughs> That's the appropriate like, remark you, to that statement. Can you, let, can you let the rubber chicken in my house? He's just been waiting outside. He <laughs> 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 had it made. Okay. Yeah. I don't remember why Sriracha was there. On the dashboard? Is that just a thing? That you... was Lisa's thing. She loved sriracha. Oh. She had like, which is on like a huge sriracha kick for a long time. I remember that. So she was just giving out bottles. Of... No, that was her like, that's like me with a tea. Like you need to bring your own sriracha in case there is none or it's not the kind you like. You got to right. bring it with you. And she did. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes sense. So that wasn't actually a decoration. Like she would take that down and use it. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, then, that has to be in London. Oh, maybe it was. Oh. Because she didn't tour with us any other time. On the photo? Yeah. yeah but we're in the Subaru on the photo. She must have toured with us at some point. She must have gone somewhere. She definitely did. Oh, Chicago. Yeah. Never mind. Maybe we're in Chicago. Maybe. They would have a vagina sign. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it does look like a vagina sign. But it also <laughs> looks, it's very clear to me that this is a city, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I can't tell what city it is, but. It's a cool photo, though. I just like how we have all of our our tour mascots lined up, like kind of just looking at the road ahead. Right. Like, Where's the adventure <laughs> next, guys? <laughs> and they come alive at night. <laughs> I've got the whole scenario played out. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I think we've got Puppy. That's Puppy the reggae dog there on the left. Yep. That was our first tour mascot, I think. Yeah, some woman in uh, Reno gave gave him to us. Oh, yeah. Just I'm... a random woman at the show at Singer... Uh, I forget the name of the place, Singer something. Oh yeah, the Singer Bar. Or whatever. And she just here. You have a this 
this puppy. Yeah. And I I think there was like a reggae song playing. And I was like, it's Puppy the Reggae Dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> puppy the Reggae Dog. I like that. <laughs> I don't know where he is, though. I was going to say, do you guys still have him? Yeah, he looks we so still have cute. him. We do? You just have him in a bag him. somewhere. Oh, okay. He's probably in the Subaru. He's the only, he's the only surviving team. <laughs> right. Well, Lisa took Remember? her sriracha back surely. I'm sure she did. I'm sure it's... I oh, hope yeah. I hope it's been used, put to good use. <laughs> Well, and I have Tom Servo on my desk right here. Oh, perfect. So, Good. Um, I'm glad he's still a mascot. And we've got... We've, we've got, got our own mascot here. My my bunny is on <laughs> tour. Yeah, bunny's always on tour with you. Yeah, if he can be. Yeah. Nice. He's seen a lot of... Not usually when I fly. Stuff. He doesn't like to be in a suitcase. Oh, yeah. I can imagine. That would yeah. be rough. Yeah. 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 I, I wouldn't want to be in a suitcase either, so... Fair. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> All right, Ash, do you want to throw a show and tell out there? Sure, I'll tell my story. Let's see. Which one do you want to do? I'm going to go for the, the Boston flood. Okay, good. That's <laughs> the one I queued up. Okay, how perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, this, I'm just pulling up the photo so I can kind of reference it myself. Um, I think it's the first one. Is it? Aha! There, there it is. is. Jinx. So. <laughs> We went on tour to Boston, as in um, Stephanie and Ed and I. Was it just the three of us? Yes. Yeah. 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 And I, I can't remember where we were coming from or where we were. I think we were going to Chicago after this. Was that right? Was that the long trip? Well, we did two in Boston. Yeah. We did the first one, and then we went to, uh, to Nantucket, Nantucket. And then we came back to Boston. Right. So I can't... I, I think this was actually the second one because I think the second time we were in Boston, it was raining. All right, so my story, I would like to call the Boston Flood. <laughs> so basically, we were on tour through Boston, as in Stephanie and Ed and I as a trio, and we'd started off in Nantucket, and we worked our way into the city, and we played at this bar called, I, I don't remember the name of it. Do you remember what? It was like a name. Uh John something. Yeah. Yes, you know what? I can. I think I can look this up. Keep going. Mm. And yeah, it was like a f historical figure of some kind, some forefather. It I don't was know. Like, it looked like an old church in there. Yeah, there was really pretty stained glass that we were playing in front of. Um, and it John was... John Harvard's. John Harvard's. Okay. John Harvard's well, that makes sense because I think we were probably in Harvard Square or something. I know we, we were, were close to the yeah. college. Yeah, we were. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we had um, we had an incident with some turkeys. Yeah, oh, which right. is a perfect yeah. Thanksgiving story for you guys. <laughs> that's right. You should have gone first. <laughs> Dang it. Well, no, we're we're working, we're progressing. We've got rubber chickens and then we've got turkeys. I didn't realize we had such a natural Thanksgiving theme. <laughs> of course we do. <laughs> we totally planned this. Absolutely. <laughs> Plan everything out so well. So anyway, we're we're walking around Harvard Square ish area, and Stephanie found this like amazing coat, and she almost oh, yeah. brought it. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was like a velvet black coat, right? Yeah, yeah it's really it, nice. And it's like comes down to just above the knee, and it's got the belt. Yeah, and, really yeah. cute coat. Yeah, really cute coat. So well, uh, then we we leave the store and there's this like massive turkey running around <laughs> and we just thought it was the funniest thing because like what a random scene to find out a, a wild turkey running around the streets of boston and we said something to the bus driver right Is that well because the turkey <laughs> tried to cross the road <laughs> oh yeah that was supposed to be the chicken. And you started chasing after it and trying to stop traffic so it could, <laughs> so it could cross the road. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when the bus driver had to stop and tell you that that turkey does that every day and he brings his family sometimes. <laughs> and, and not to even bother her. <laughs> <laughs> I have zero recollection of this, by the way. Oh, you just took off, and you're, like, in the middle of Boston Street. Like, stop, stop, stop. And this turkey cares not. Oh, yeah, pays you no mind. I'm trying to commit turkey suicide, and it's I'm like, just no. just doing whatever it wants. And the bus driver goes, goes, oh, that's Tom. 
He's here every day at this time. <laughs> Later on, he'll be on the other side of the street with his family. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> but the funniest thing was just, just, well, not only let you, you think of Boston, you know, as just kind of like a big city. And I guess the area we were in would, d- didn't feel very big city. Yeah, per true. Se. But either way, you don't expect to see like a turkey. No, just crossing the street like that no. in, yeah. in Har- Harvard. I think it was like Harvard Square near it. and Yeah, yeah it was yeah. in Harvard Square. Yeah, and, and, which and, is a really cool area of Boston. But yeah, we you did not expect to see the turkey. <laughs> and, and I guess just the way that square was and the way the streets were, you know, they were kind of narrow. People would kind of drive slow through there. So it sort of lent itself for you to just go chasing after this turkey to try to protect it. <laughs> well... Which isn't the weirdest part of our day. <laughs> it gets weirder. <coughs> Remember, this is the Boston flood. <laughs> <laughs> this is not the Boston turkey story. This is only an introduction. So, <laughs> so we we were playing our gig, and it was it was this really nice place, this John John Harvard's, and. Um, uh, in a brewery and it had these beautiful stained glass windows and we're playing in front of the stained glass windows and it was absolutely packed which wasn't so great for sound because yeah. it was very 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 loud and it's kind of annoying when we play a very very loud bar and we have to try and get our sound system over the noise of the crowd which especially in a room like that an old like church with those huge vaulted ceilings and everything I mean it's just an impossible task so I mean we had fun I think and we we tried to just like get through it and it was one of those four-hour gigs, so it was a pretty long show. It was going to be a pretty oh, long show. Oh, right. It was right. a four-hour Did, show. Didn't we actually play there twice? Yep. Yeah. So this was oh. the second time. Oh, okay. This was when we came back because we had oh, right. You're there. right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. I forgot about that. So mm-hmm. uh, and my my uh, my friend Eileen was there who I grew up with and she brought some people and like so we knew some people there and we're we're having a good time and whatever. And it's raining outside. And then all of a sudden it's pouring outside. <laughs> and we're on our break at our show and um the manager comes up to us and he said Hey guys, um, I don't think that we're gonna be able to. You're gonna be able to do another set, and we were like, "Why is that?" And he goes, "Because the restaurant is flooding." <laughs> we're like, "Oh my god!" And he goes, "Yeah, look." So we go and look down this the stairwell that we had just stored our instruments in earlier that day while we were out chasing turkeys. Right, where and their office was down where there. Where their yeah. office was. Office was completely flooded and the water was rising like up to the top of the stairs and it was it was like coming up yeah. and um they cleared out the whole bar and I think Stephanie said this earlier but I'll say it again because there are times when we're loading out our gig when it'll take us like 45 minutes to get everything packed up or sometimes longer and out the door you never realize that you can actually pack up your stuff in three minutes until you really <laughs> have to. <laughs> so we've never packed up faster in our lives. Yeah. I actually, it was, was so fast, I have no recollection of doing it. Me neither. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Well, actually, you know what? I do. I don't remember tasting the turkey. I do remember packing our stuff up really quickly <laughs> and Ed pulling up the car and us running out there and throwing everything in there and uh, being on our merry way. But they had to literally go into the office the manager had to wade through the water just to like get our paycheck (laughs) and i think your purse was in there oh was it yeah oh wow there was a couple things yeah okay well luckily they weren't on the floor (laughs) right yeah (laughs) because it was i mean it was you can see from that photo it was really rising well it was yeah i mean it was above his waist yeah it was really crazy and and we're just in you see my head in the mirror at the top of that shot because there was a mirror right there so it's it was kind of a cool photo i thought that's one of the reasons i took it because i was like this actually this is really freaky but it looks cool because you've got the stairwell and then the water rising and then like a little (laughs) space of air and then there's like that mirror and then you've got my head in the mirror oh i you know what i don't think i noticed that yeah what i didn't until i looked at it again just now yeah (laughs) what what i think is is also a funny part of that story is just that the manager had to come up and inform us of this 
Because really when we looked at, when once we found out, we really looked around at the scene, people were like scattering like roaches. Yeah. Like <laughs> they're all check please, check please. Yeah. You know, and like And we're we, like, doo 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 <laughs> we're just sitting there chit chatting. Uh and Ready to go. Just yeah. completely oblivious to the fact that this was happening around us. Yeah. yeah. We, were, we were gearing up to play our next set. We're like, all yeah. right, let's do it. <laughs> like, people are rowing by. And we're just like, <laughs> yep, we're going to be on in five. Stick around, folks. <laughs> it was a long trip. <laughs> Well, although I think there was one other time that we managed to pack up just as quickly, if not quicker, and we didn't, it's maybe a photo we should share another time, but that was the time when we were in in Scotland trying to get out of that, that disaster of a, um, of a hotel we were oh, supposed to stay oh, in. Not a hotel. Well, and we're using that term loosely. It was not a, it was a storage unit, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it was yeah, a storage unit. I've got a lot of pictures from that. Yeah. Yeah, we should share those sometime. Yeah. yeah. Log that story. We will tell it. Tune back into Crimes Against Folk to hear <laughs> that one. That was a true crime against folk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cool. Anyway, that's the Boston flood. The Boston flood. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's stay in the that geographic area, and I'll go with mine. All right. Uh, which is the uh, the Chowder World Tour <laughs> that consisted really of only one place. Um, <laughs> it's the only place you needed. The yeah. only place that mattered. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so, yeah, we were at as. Um, Ash and Steph mentioned earlier, we were kind of doing a run through um, the through New England, and did we did we do so? We did mainland, then went to Nantucket, and then came back. That's, is that that's kind of the what timeline? I recall. Yeah, yeah that sounds okay. accurate. Because I couldn't recall the timeline, but um, but yeah, we got um, invited to play at another brewery uh, on Nan- on Nantucket. Which was nice because uh, you had some family there, don't you, Ash? Yeah, my uncle lives on Nantucket, and so we got to stay at his house and hang mm-hmm. out with him. It was really fun. We got to see the coast, yeah. um, which I was not expecting. Um, it was cold, so <laughs> we stayed there for very long. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When we went to the beach, and we're it was like, pretty cold. cold beach, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it looked awesome, but boy, it was cold. Um, and uh, yeah, just kind of walked around Nantucket. I'd never been there. Uh, had you been there, Steph? I had never been there, no. no oh, I well, just... I had never been there either. Oh, you had? No. I thought you had. Okay. No, so I... I oh, yeah, I totally thought you'd been there before. It, you would think, because I spent the first 11 years of my life in in Boston. You were I, close enough, sure, yeah. Well, we would go to Martha's Vineyard, though. So there's there's ah. Nantucket and there's Martha's Vineyard. Right. Okay. And you either, you're either rich and you own a home on one of these islands, and that's where you go, or... You're not rich, and you know people who are rich, and you go with, stay with them. <laughs> I've heard Nantuck- so we knew people on Martha's Vineyard. So my uncle had only recently moved to Nantucket at the time, so we, I had not been. Oh, you know what? I just pulled up September of 2016. So oh, we wow. Got a timeline here. Oh, I was actually wondering what year it was, too. Yeah. 16. Yeah. 2016, 2016. So we did New York, then we went to Boston, then we went to New Haven and played Stella Blues. Uh-huh. Oh. Then back to Boston, and then Nantucket. So we were actually, Ed, when this story is taking place, we're out of Nantucket, and we're about to head on a two-day drive to Chicago. Right. We're doing the the, the, the heavy drive where we had to like stay overnight in Cleveland and stuff like that. Yep, yep. Um, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. I remember that drive and being like, that was Stephanie, rough. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry you've come all the way up to this tour. And Can I switch with the chicken and ride on the dash for a while? <laughs> <laughs> um, it was still fun. That was a really fun tour, though. I remember yeah. just being, it was so cool to like go that far, too. I think at that time, that was the farthest we'd been as, yep. as, a, yeah. as a band, you know, especially as a trip. Rio. And like, it's actually remarkable how much stuff we had 
between the three of us and everything that we were able to get in the car, including me. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. And put so. all the stuff on the on the roof of the car at the time. Yep. That was when we were using the roof thing. So yeah, we had yeah. just gotten back from Nantucket when we when this is happening. And uh we did we did anyone have any clam chowder on Nantucket? Uh, did we no. Do that? No. We this yeah. was we had the discussion on the ferry and we're like Yeah. Or, well, Ed, it's your story. You tell it. Well, yeah, like we did. We did have the discussion where we were like, when we when we uh, disembark, we should find uh, somebody, the person with the thickest New England accent, right. around, <laughs> and ask them where the best place is to get chowder because uh-huh. they are going to know. No, no one, no one else is going to know. We're not going to ask another tourist. That person's going to know. The yes. local will know where to go. And so we, so we go back to the uh, we we disembark and we go back to the lot where car is and and pull up to the uh, to station to pay the uh, the uh, guy there and boy oh he had a heavy <laughs> he had a heavy accent yeah we're <laughs> so like well we found right. our guy <laughs> this is the guy <laughs> so we ask him hey where. Is there a good place to get some uh, clam chowder around here? And he said, "Oh yeah, you want to go to Captain Parker's? <laughs> Down in, where was it? Uh, Yarmouth, actually. I think it was. Yep, yep. it was. Um, uh, that's what my Yarmouth. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's what my uh, photo tag said. Said was a uh, Yarmouth, Yarmouth. Yeah, and uh, so yeah, it was only it wasn't that far away. It was maybe like ten minutes away or something. Yeah, it was just yeah, right it was there. right down the street. Yeah, and we got so lucky. <laughs> we went to uh, Captain Parker's and had incredible <laughs> clam chowder. That was there. really good. I'm looking at this photo. Just I still think about this clam chowder <laughs> e- even all these years later because I'm pretty sure that was the first clam chowder I'd ever had. I think you're right. And I was like, this is incredible. <laughs> it was all downhill from here. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, it definitely wasn't the first I had, but it's the last I've ever wanted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, well, it just kind of sounds gross. Like, I think you have to, I mean, I, you know, being from Boston, I grew up with clam chowder, and we just... You know, we love it because it's it's so good there everywhere. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And um, but it just clam chowder that just sounds so gross. So if you're not like used yeah. to just eating it, you would hear that that those two words put together, clam and chowder. And you're just like, no, thank you. But... <laughs> well, and I'm from Missouri, so I'm like, what the hell is a clam? Like, <laughs> I'm not going to eat clams in Missouri. Like, that's just not going to happen. It's not advised. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. So going straight to the source of where the best is. And boy, oh, it was it was pretty amazing. Um, so if you are ever in the uh, Yarmouth area, uh, disembarking from a ferry to uh, Nantucket, make sure you go to Captain Pockus. If you're ever in Yarmouth, <laughs> go to Captain Pockus. <laughs> <laughs> it Basically. was oh, so good. And you're right. That was a that was a pretty fun tour. I mean, it was a lot of heavy driving because uh-huh. we had a pretty tight schedule. Didn't we have but... a problem with a parrot on that ferry? What did we? I don't know. I don't remember. I remember this woman <laughs> on the ferry <laughs> had a parrot. Yeah, on the ferry that was just like I don't know if it was seasick or <laughs> there was something. <laughs> Well, that's pretty disappointing if a parrot was seasick. <laughs> I don't remember. It would yeah. really round out our Thanksgiving, though, to talk go from chickens to turkeys yeah. to parrots. Let's well, just talk about all kinds of fowl. <laughs> yeah, well, I, well, I don't know why that <coughs> popped in my head, because I was actually still looking at this bowl of chowder and thinking, you know, oyster crackers, no oyster crackers, you know? Oh, uh, right. <laughs> and, you know, some people don't even know what those are. Some people are like saltine people, which I think is just totally... It's not. That's it's weird. It's not. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's too much salt in that case. Yeah. It's too much but salt. But the oyster crackers are so perfect. Because the saltines just, like, get soggy right away. That's gross. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The oyster crackers kind of... Well, and it. they have that pocket of air, so there's always this little fun burst of crisp when, you, fun. when you kind of crush it on your top of your mouth. I'm so mm-hmm. hungry now. Yeah. This yeah, a, we keep doing this on the podcast, yeah. talking about food when we're hungry. We talked about pizza recently. <laughs> oh, yeah. <man. laughs> we yeah, we did the Pizza World Tour episode. Yeah. 
We should have had a snack before this. I know. <laughs> well, we might need to go get some wine and whiskey and a little snack and yeah, continue yeah. our Thanksgiving. <laughs> it's just like one of the best. It, it The picture is actually not that appetizing. Like, because... Because he took the picture, like, after he had clearly eaten it for a while. Yep. And decided, oh, whoops, I forgot to take a picture of oh, this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it was too good. I was busy eating it. <laughs> he already <laughs> ate the oyster crackers. I mean, the only better picture would be have, would have been just the empty bowl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was some good clam chowder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, at least you get a little bit of everything in this, so <laughs> it kind of gets the idea across. Well, and it looks like they sell it at their local supermarket. So if you don't see it, ask for it. That's right. Yep. Which makes sense, you know. Yeah. It's probably not as good as you're going to get if you actually just go to Captain Parker's. No, it's, it's better fresh, I'm sure, but... Yeah. I, so. think we should, I think we should try going to our local supermarket... And, and asking for it. Yeah. And asking for Captain Parker's. It says Parker's? it's sold at out your local supermarket. Yeah. That's going to be so disappointing. It doesn't specify. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't specify how local. Maybe, maybe at least be in Massachusetts when you do this, folks. <laughs> and but for the record, legal seafood has great chowda. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it's very good. Who said it wasn't good? Didn't somebody <sighs> say it wasn't good? Yeah, my friend Harlan, who's who's from Maine, but he has oh, the like why. Boston accent. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's like, legal seafood isn't real chowder. You're not from Boston if you don't if you get legal seafood chowder. I'm like, really? And I, I was like, this is so not accurate. And then we started taking a poll, and all of my friends and family from Boston were like, no, Legals makes great chowder. I'm like, I know, <laughs> it does. Wait, wait a minute, are we talking about something that's like within the parameters of the law? Like the it was caught legally? Yeah. It's no, the it's name like of the restaurant. The oh, it's the name of a restaurant. <laughs> Sorry, like, I should have specified. I'm like Legal seafood is like a super you famous to, like, chain. Go illegally chain. catch your own seafood <laughs> <laughs> and make chowder out of it, and that's better. It's fit than, for consumption. Than legal stuff. <laughs> it's legal. No, it's called legal seafood. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are in the East Coast, you'll probably run into it, especially at the yeah. airports. We were when we flew in to do our Scarborough show in Boston. I, I when when I flew out, um, I don't think Ed and I, yeah, Ed and I flew out different separate times because I hung around. I got it though. Yeah, we yeah. at at the airport. At the airport. Yeah, that's like, pretty good. It's good. I mean, it's no Captain Pacas. No, it's not as good as Captain Pacas. Yeah, but if you ever see the chowder at Legal Seafood, I recommend it, yeah. too. Yeah. It's definitely good for, you know, clam chowder. Yeah. That's for sure. I'll keep that so, in mind. So that's our yeah. that's our chowder world tour, two places, <laughs> both in <So>. Massachusetts. <laughs> right. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. <laughs> We're going to sing you a song. <laughs> <clears throat> the 
girl Maybe I save the world In a parallel universe The possibilities are endless If you imagine hard enough You can solve any problem if you try It can all go right Or it can all go wrong Within the safety of your mind These experiments They are expensive I can reach Nirvana Or at least that castle in the sky Maybe it came true In a parallel universe Maybe it worked out After all Maybe I got the girl Maybe I saved the world in a parallel universe. Parallels, kisses and touch, try putting them next together. A pair of elves, living on rumple still skin. Fairy tales, get me some dust so I can Peter Pan away from hell. I think I lost my marble toodles and won't come back to land unless I fell. Head in the clouds, I can only see heaven for miles. In nine months, an extra mouth that's forever. Squeeze them little fingers and toes. Little man, so clever. But that's another day in the future. Maybe it to my chest true. Hold. When I close my eyes and wake up, will I believe the story the dream told? It's never been Maybe told. Plunging into true. darkness, feeling gravity so deep in my soul, my soul wakes. The same reality I see. Maybe it came like true. Maybe it came true. Be real and not be fake. I can't shake that I would hate if I was wrong. But maybe, maybe my happy is an aberration, true. and the birth works out with a little patience in a parallel with universe. With open eyes, I travel to the place. wrong in a parallel universe maybe it worked out for you maybe you got the girl maybe you saved the world in a parallel universe maybe you got the girl Thanks, everyone, for uh, tuning in. We hope you're staying safe out there and having a wonderful Thanksgiving in spite of everything. Um, extra special thanks to our producer patron, Alice Williams. We appreciate it. Um, if you want to find out more about Patreon, go to patreon.com slash crimes against folk. You can see all of our Patreon tier options there. And uh, we hope you enjoyed this bonus episode. Special thanks to Stephanie for joining us. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> thanks, Steph. Um, and uh, until next time, we'll see you soon. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs>
<laughs> Sorry, we're done. Is it still Go going? look up rubber <laughs> chicken videos on YouTube and have your mind blown. <laughs>